Hello everybody, welcome back to Simulated Heaven and welcome back to Train Simulator 2015. Today I'm in a class 121 which is an add-on DLC. It is an official add-on DLC. Um, it looked like kind of a cool little train. I got it pretty cheap uh, on discount so um, I figured why not? Why not give it a go? We have the, the epic menu music to soothe us while we're waiting for the game to load. The game does take a little bit of time for it to load, but to be honest, I don't have it on my SSD. I just have it on my regular hard drive because the game installation that I have now is really big, like incredibly big. So, um, yeah, didn't really feel the need to use up that amount of space on my SSD so you could kind of blame me a little bit for the slow loading but hey anyway hopefully anytime soon there we go okay so like you can see this is a really interesting little train it's literally just one like a carriage it's called a class 121 bubble car which is interesting branch lines under operation of the class 121 shuttles are dwindling fast take one of the last remaining bubble cars down to Paddington and back down to West Ealing this service is Greenford bound but you are not certified to use this branch line another drive will take over okay fair enough oh it's raining cool um, I think I need to put lights on there you go um, let me look at my little task list. Pick up passengers from West Ham. Uh, okay. Okay, pick up passengers. Okay, so I think we can go, right? Let me look. Let me take a look outside. I think, I think we can go. I mean, just look at this thing. This thing is really interesting. <laughs> look at it. Literally just one thing. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to open the doors actually, just to be sure. I don't want to like fail the task. Yeah, actually, it's a good job I did that because there were people getting in and out. Look at the doors, man. <laughs> Interesting. Right, we need wipers on, guys. I have to say, I do rather like the effects. So. There doesn't seem to be anything that complicated about this, really. Okay, let's go. Oh, so it... Oh, okay. Would help if I took the brakes off, wouldn't it? Oh, that would definitely help. Oh, look, there's a train over there, look. Okay. What? Oh! That's why. Oh, look, there's a gear thing. Oh, wow. I don't think I've ever been in a train with a system of gears. It's it's like gears. Wow, that's crazy. There's actually gears here. I didn't even know that trains had gears. Lol. They, they clearly do, whoops. So up and down, yeah, okay. Mm, that makes sense, I suppose. Right, I believe the next stop is not too far off, so let's not go crazy here. Yeah, we're stopping at Ealing Broadway 4. This is actually quite a nice looking little train, actually. It does look pretty nice, to be fair. Let's see, will she slow down? Not very much. Start applying some brake, as you do. Okay, that should help. Oh, there's another train. Hello. Ah, that's cool. Alright, we can take the brake off a bit now. Otherwise, we're going to come to a stop. Wow, look at this uh, station. It's kind of cool. 
does look kind of cool to me. Right, we're cruising in. Look at this. Okay, I think we can go down gears, right? Wow, I mean, I've played this game a lot, and I did not realise you could actually get a a train with um, with gears. I didn't even realise that was a, you know that that could happen. That's really interesting. Now let's have a look while they're loading. Let's take a look around the cab. Now the only thing is, for some reason. You can't look that far left, that far right. I mean, I would prefer it if you could look all the way around and look behind you. So I, I don't know why the mouse look is quite restricted, which I think is not great. I mean, actually, to be fair, everything they have here, the textures look pretty good, pretty high res. It looks pretty nice, pretty realistic and everything, which is good. Oops. Timeless... What? There's, there's a penalty? It said there was a penalty already. Timeless penalty, it said, or something. Oops, that's not good. Right, next station. Acton Mainline 1. So that's 1. Okay, let's change gears. Right, it feels really weird, like, changing gears in a game. Hello. I don't know. It's very strange. Uh, what's the, the speed limit is quite high. Okay, look at this thing. Here she comes. And I'm not even looking if I've got red lights. Whoa, Intercity's coming. Whoa. Oh, we're not going to see our train very well, are we? With the Intercity, but we can kind of see it a bit. I don't know. It, it looks really cool, actually. I do like it. I do somehow feel... The, the just trains train somehow they just have a more have a slightly fuller experience I suppose I would say I don't know like I'm sure in a just trains train it would let you look around more like this is really limiting my field of view you know right is there a is there a passenger thing oh there is hello I'm a passenger now so at least they have that to be fair, I feel that sometimes they're a bit lazy and they don't always have the the passenger camera. Right, we're probably going to be speeding like a crazy freak now, so let's just start braking a bit. I have to say, I do rather like the rain, and I, you know, I quite like this uh, this route. It's very very busy, isn't it? We are seeing lots of trains. Okay, let's go. Let's break a little bit more. We don't need to be slowing down too, too crazily, but yeah. And I am. I'm still getting frame drops. There was a frame drop there, and I'm not. I am recording on a different hard drive entirely to the one that this game has. So I don't know why we're getting frame drops, but we are. Welcome to Acton Mainline. Okay, I think we can just stop wherever, whatever. Let's just stop here, as we can. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. That didn't work. Let's try that again. <laughs> I don't know. I kind of like the train, though. I, I I do really like the train. Like sometimes I like these kind of small, interesting trains. Somehow, right. This time I'm not going to be too slow. I'm going to go into first gear because I know last time it said I had a timeless bonus. Whatever that means. Again, timeless penalty. What does that mean? So I think I'm already late. Am I late? Yeah, look. I think I was late. So I'm due at 11.38. I think I'm going to be late all the time. Okay. Paddington 9. I just want to make sure that the, that all the um, stations are the right ones. I still can't really get over the fact I've got... I've got gears on a train. 
can't I can't really get over that to be honest. But hey. Right, okay. Thanks for that. Now, the thing where it said I'm not allowed to go somewhere. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of hoping that it's going to warn me. I hope it's going to be quite obvious. Right. I'm looking at lights now. I'm looking at lights because I'm behind schedule. So I, I need to go quite fast. And again, we got a frame drop. I don't know. I'm really not impressed with the performance. Like, do you really have to have this game on an SSD or something? I mean, I have a graphics card which is more than, than capable of playing this game without frame drops. Is it because of my hard drive? I don't know. I, I would love to know if you guys also get frame drops. Apparently the new version with the new engine, and I do have a green light, look. Is that for me? That is for me, right? Yeah. Um, I see a red light. Every time I see a red light, I'm scared, but that's not for me. That's the other track. Okay, that's good. I think we're going to be going quite fast. Wow, this thing can fare, fare motor. Can't it? Look at it go, man. Look at me go. Whoa, we are fair motor. We're probably going to crash in a minute. That was not a red light for us, was it? No, it wasn't. Pretty sure it wasn't. I've got greens still. 2.68 miles. So, yeah. Apparently the new engine version will come out next year, which is great. I, I really think they need a new engine because I think a lot of people are not interested in this, this game anymore because every year it looks pretty much exactly the same with some minor differences. I am really liking all of the traffic on this line. It always feels awesome when you get loads of traffic and stuff. Just kind of adds to the immersion. It's pretty cool. Oh, I'm speeding. Oh, yeah, because it's only a 50 speed limit now. That's why. Anyway, we're coming up to Paddington 9 in the not-too-distant future. So, you know. Okay, we should be good. Yeah, like, there's crazy frame drops everywhere. So I, I would love to know if anyone... Have you, if any of you guys play this game, I'd love to know if you get crazy frame drops as well. We need to, we need to come down to 40 soon, so let's break more, yeah, because otherwise we're going to be speeding a lot. So let's, let's try and bring it down to 40 in time. We still got, we still have green lights. More trains are coming, and now we slowed down too much. Didn't we? Oh well. I am hoping that when the new version, when the new engine version does actually come out next year, I really do hope the graphics are amazing. I mean, if you have a look at what the graphics for Farm Sim 15 look like they're going to be. I mean, I hope they have that kind of improvement, you know, like a big improvement. That would be awesome. But I don't, I don't quite know what to expect, so we'll see. Oh, I think this might be the end, of, the end of the line for us. Whoops. There's like a red thing here. You know? There's like a buffer. I think that's the word, isn't it? A buffer. I think there's a buffer. So I, th I think... They're trying to say this is the end of the line thing. The end of the line kind of thing. Anyway, let's slow, let's maybe take off the gas. I, I haven't looked from the outside view yet. Yeah, this thing looks really nice. I do really like the way it looks. It's just, like I said, I have a slight issue with the fact when you're in the cab, you can't look around as much as I would like, to be fair. Okay, we well, need to start braking a bit more. Not too much though. Right. Yeah, I'm, I think this might be. I think this might be the end of the line.
because, uh, yeah. Right, let's try not to crash into anything. That would certainly help, wouldn't it? Oh yeah, look. The buffers. So uh, I believe we, we have to go down to the end. Right on the buffers. You would have thought, wouldn't you? Wow. So yeah, that was a really fun journey. I do like the I do like the train. I'm pleased that I bought it for the price that I paid. I think the only thing I would say is there were, there were only it seems like there were only a couple of scenarios that came with the train. I mean, if you're going to pay for DLC train, you kind of expect to get a few more than just a couple of scenarios. Anyway, let's try not to crash into the bar uh, into the buffer. Okay. Oh look, we're inside the other train. That can't be good, can it? Okay, so I think this is the end. Because someone else will take over. Look at the size of my train, it's tiny. It's hilarious. It literally it's just like a carriage. I like the way the exhaust kind of goes up there. Very interesting design, to say the least. Right, so. Oh, look at all the people over there. It's a very, very busy day in Paddington, isn't it? Okay, you will need to change cabs and head back to West Ealing where another driver who is certified to run down the Greenford line will take over. So just let me have a look here. Just let me have a look. How many more stops? Uh, three... So three more stops, so actually it's not too too bad really. So I need to go. Okay, okay. So do we have to turn off everything? I suppose zero would be good, wouldn't it? Take out gear, like so. So, I thought I was supposed to press this button to get into the other... Oh, hang on. Oh no, because I'm in that view, that's probably why, isn't it? Do I have to open the doors again? I don't think I do, but people are still going to get in and out. I think that happens every time, maybe. I'm not sure. Did it say pick up people? Yes, it did. I don't know. Maybe I all, all, already did that. Um, I thought you click here and, it, and you go back. Oh, hang on. Let's go like that. Oh, so I had to be in the, in the cab view. For that to work, you have to be in the cab view. Okay, I think we're good, guys. So let's go forward. Because I seem to remember when I've done this kind of stuff before. Now, I did pick people up, didn't I? Yeah. Why is it not ticked? Why is it not ticked? Act to mainline to hang on. Why is it not ticked? Damn you. Damn you. Right, let's stop. Act to, yeah, it, says, it still says, pick up pack passengers from Acton Mainline 2. We are on Acton Mainline 2. Oh, no we're not. Okay, just forget that. I got confused. It says Acton Mainline 2 in 4.14 miles. I'm an idiot. No. I really am an idiot sometimes, so just ignore that entirely. And we're going to be speeding again. We are going to be the notorious driver for speeding, aren't we? So yeah, I didn't realise that you have to be in the cab view for you to go to the reverse, reverse cab. To be fair, I've not very often had to do that. There haven't been that many scenarios where I've had to do that, you know. Well, we are definitely in... London, aren't we, with all this rain and grey skies. <laughs> Definitely like London. 
Right, let's see if we can get this baby moving. Hello! Oh, they're all going backwards now. They're all going backwards. I don't think that they're very happy about that, are they? Anyway, let's go back to the cab before we do something st stupid. It could happen, trust me. Bulbs are going to be speeding soon. Let's let's not be speeding. Okay, I think we should be okay. See? Okay, let's 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 have a look outside the cab. Look, everyone's going to oh no, actually there are a few going the right way. Well, I think this scenery, and I am speeding again. Whoops. That'll do it. I mean, I think this scenery is quite accurate, relatively accurate. I mean, I've been on this line quite a lot in the past. Uh, that is not a red light for me, is it? No. Every time I see a light, I freak out. Really. Oh, we're going to go. Par we're going to go faster than the inter Intercity One Two Five. We're going to go faster than the Intercity One Two Five. We are boss, even though our train is tiny. Come on, let's do it. Let's do this. All of the passengers are like, "No, let's not do this, please." No. Okay. This is the vehicle's top speed. Wow, this is cool, man. Like I said, when you have like a lot of, uh, of traffic on a line, it, it just feels really good. It feels kind of realistic, you know. Feels it adds to the immersion, I would say. Yay! Are you enjoying your journey? But we're going faster than you. <laughs> you could imagine, right? We're like really busting a gut here to go faster than this thing, and they're just like cruising along. Hello. I'm enjoying my cup of coffee. It's lovely. We can, we can actually go faster. We're, we're, we're like way off the speed limit. Here. Yeah. Why is that bit orange? Why is there an orange bit? Maybe that's just to say that's the food car. Maybe. Faster than you! Bong, bong. Right. We can still go a bit faster, actually. I don't think I've ever overtaken a train like this before, ever. Oh, is he going to start speeding up? He is! Off he goes! Come on! Keep up with him, damn it! Wow, he's he's really going now, though. Oh, because it's 85. 100%! It's an 85 speed limit, 100%. But we're gonna probably going to miss our... Oh, look at all the exhaust fumes coming out of our, out of our train. That's funny. Oh, no. He's, he's going to be long gone. Anyway, we need to start slowing down soon. I'm getting a bit kind of carried away. I don't think I've ever overtaken or ever had like side-by-side -side action with a train in this game for so long. That was kind of cool. Right, we need to slow down anyway. Let's not get caught up in that whole thing. Right then. Right then, my son. We need to stop very soon. Let's stop. Let's start our braking. Because I have a feeling... Oh, bye bye Intercity. It was nice cruising with you for a while, but ultimately I have to let you go. Oh well, such is life. This might actually be a good rate of slowing down here. This could actually be a good rate of slowing down. I quite like actually how the, the roof looks kind of slightly tarnished. No, this is not this is not a good rate of slowing down. 
because we are now going way too slow. Oh dear. I think we can go into third. Anyway. Let's not let's not go crazy, mind you. Because we do have to stop up here. Right, let's try a graduated stop here. That would be awesome. No, let's not. Let's just slam the brakes on. Because we did nearly overshoot there like a noob, didn't we? After all that. Okay. We are good. Back to main line two. So there is not a driver in the front, but there's still a driver in the back. You would have thought it would automatically change the driver when I change the direction, but clearly not. We do still need the wipers on, eh? Brakes off in preparation. I'm sure that's highly illegal. I'm, I'm sure in real life a train driver would never, ever have the brakes off while there are passengers boarding. Look, look, look at all the penalties, man. I am like Mr. Penalty here. Loads of penalties all over the place. Oh well. I wonder where the actual gear lever is. Oh, it's this thing. That kind of makes sense, I suppose, to start here and go down there, wouldn't it? Yeah, that, that does make sense. Right then, our next stop is in 1.35 miles, Ealing Broadway 3. So we got that, and then we got West Ealing 3. We are so late. We are already late. Look, we're already late. That's crazy. We are like the slowest people ever in a train. Too much um, talking, I'd say. Anyone in here? Oh, yeah. Oh, there she goes. Oh, there she goes. There goes another intercity. Wow. This is awesome. There's so much traffic, yeah. Maybe that's the thing they've Im improved in uh, Train Sim 2015, because I don't think I ever remember doing a scenario with this amount of, of traffic, so... That's pretty awesome. It might just be a coincidence, though, that I just so happen to be doing a scenario with so much traffic. Right then, we are not too far off now, so I believe I need to take off the power, and we'll just uh, start to graduate a little bit the braking as you do maybe a little bit more than that maybe a little bit more than that maybe a little bit more than that maybe a lot more than that maybe a hundred percent now <laughs> yeah we did it, we're okay, we didn't overshoot too badly. Actually, I do remember some of these stations, I because I did actually go through these stations quite a lot when I was in England, so yeah. Uh, so I'm all I'm already mega late, so I'm gonna lose a lot a lot of points with that, but hey. I think I've only got one more stop. No? Yes I have. So I'm supposed to have already departed here nearly four minutes ago. Oh, look, there's another train like us. Look. It's like our brother or sister. Whoa, he's, he's going way fast. Dude, you're not supposed to go that fast in the train station. Aren't you aware of that? Wow, that guy is crazy. Look, we've already got over a thousand points. Come on, let's go. He is. We already have over a thousand points. That is not good. So yeah, one more stop and it's in under a mile.
Yep, not too far off, and then I believe that will be the end of the scenario. Sometimes they like to over-dramatise these kind of scenarios and make them sound important by saying, oh, you have to do this so that you can change the drive and all this, and in the end it doesn't make any difference. It's just a regular journey because you still have to, like, stop at the end, you know. Oh, I like the thing. I like the warning thing on this train, that's kind of cool. Um, yeah, so they tried to make this sound very important and grand and all that. But to be honest, it's just like any other regular journey. We've just basically gone to and fro as we would in any regular journey, so... Clearly they were just trying to make it sound important by saying something about you're not authorised to go past this point, you have to change drivers, blah de blah. Here we go, final stop. It's a ghost train. It is a ghost train. That's funny. We're going to be so late, guys. We're going to be so late. I can turn off the wipers now at least. Oh, that was the wrong thing. That's the wipers. What lights we got? Oh yeah, that was easy. So, front lights, back lights. Okay. Look at that walking action, that's funny. And that guy just appeared as if by magic. Well done driver! As you are not cert certified to head down the Greenford branch line, another driver will take over from here. For, for now, your work here is done. Yay! So apart, apart from the fact I got loads of penalties for being late. So why don't I get any XP? I mean, I don't even understand what the idea of XP is, to be honest. Like... Is XP that important? Look, I didn't get any XP, that's funny. I don't think it's that important. I mean, it's, it isn't like XP unlocks anything really, does it? I think it's just there, you know, as a, a figure. So as you can see, that was doing the class 121 bubble car on the Great Western Main Line. So thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.